Now that we have the shoes off, I'm going to be looking at the backing plate. And like I said earlier, I think this is where the noise was coming from. As you can see here, not only is it shiny, the spots here where the shoes actually rub on the backing plate right here, you could see there was probably lube maybe on a couple of them. But remember, this is the driver that puts his boat in the water all the time, and this whole assembly gets submerged quite often. So that probably washed a lot of the lube away. But what our job here to do is you've got a slight groove in this also. There's a slight depression in there. We have to grind that smooth. We don't want a a groove in that backing plate because what happens is the shoes actually get caught in that groove and then when you apply the brakes they either don't they can't get past that groove and all of a sudden they'll jump past it and make a noise or they get jammed in that groove and they actually keep the shoes applied the whole time so either way we have to get this smooth and then lube it now sometimes the grooves are so bad that you've got a couple options you can either replace the backing plate or you can use an epoxy, clean it off, fill it with epoxy, let it harden, and then grind it smooth. That's also uh, a, a fix you can do. Keeps you from buying the whole backing plate. Okay, got it all cleaned up here. As you can see, we, we did not, we got rid of that slight groove in there. That was just a little buildup of, of, of dirt and, and everything else and a little bit of rust, but we took that off. I've got a very smooth surface here now. One thing I want to point out too, that bottom one has already been epoxied. Somebody already did that. Like I said earlier, if you have a real deep groove, you don't want that shoe to get caught. So somebody epoxied the two bottom ones here. I thought that might have been lube, but that's actually epoxy in there. It wouldn't, it smoothed out very nicely, but these are fine. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get some good Molly synthetic lube to put on these contact points here. And then when we put our shoes on, it'll ride very nice and back forth on the, on the backing plate. Now we got the backing plate all lubed up, waiting for the new shoes to put on. What I'm gonna do yet quite, I'm gonna clean this area up here where the, where the shoes actually can slide on that anchoring pin. We're gonna clean that a little bit better. And um, then we're gonna go ahead and, and start putting the shoes back on. <laughs> 